hello welcome back guys so in this video I'm going to show you how to install SCCM current branch configuration manager current branch or SCCM current branch the version I'm going to install is 1802 so I got all the prereqs installed um, the MDT the WAIK it's all installed I can confirm that in here Let's go to programs and features. There's the MDT and there's the WAIK is also installed here. So now I'm ready to install. Oops, I, yeah, I also have SQL installed as well. SQL 14, uh, 2014. So now I'm going to start installing SCCM. Click on Splash and click on Open. There it is. Click on Install. Click Yes. Click Next. So it's going to be a primary site. I'm not going to check this box. I'm just going to install the management point and the distribution point later. So for now, I'm just going to install the configuration manager site without management point, without distribution point. And I will that I will add that later. So I will click next. I'm going to use the evaluation key for now. Click next. I'm going to accept, accept, and accept. Click next. So I have to download the latest uh, updates. So what I need to do is um, I'm going to create a folder. Call CCM updates. I'm going to put it here. Click next. It's going to download all 53 files. While it's doing that, I'm going to click pause the recording. Once it's finished downloading, then I can come back. All right, look like the download has been completed. So I'm going to choose just the English for now. I click next. This is for the, if you want to manage mobile devices. I'm just going to click next. The site code, it has to be three letters. So I'm just call it Pry. Um, site name, you can call anything you want. I just call um, Office 365 Tech Guide. call it home since it's for home testing um, the installation folder you can put it anywhere you want um, since I have C and D I'm going to save D for my um, DP so I'm just going to put on in C under programs files install configuration manager console you want to make sure you check this so the console get installed I click next. I don't have any um, central access site to join, like the CAS. So I'm just going to be, it's going to be standalone. That's fine. Confirm. Yes. 
it's the name of the SQL Server. It's on the same box. Instance, I'm going to leave it blank. It's, it's going to use the default instance. I'm going to click next. Um, this is SQL information. You can point it to anywhere you want. This is um, SQL data files, uh, log files. So I'm just going to keep it as default. The SMS provider, this is going to be my um, primary site. I'm going to leave that default. Click next. Since I don't have PayKI infrastructure, I'm just going to choose configuration communication method each site row. If you don't have KPI or some kind of certificate, you don't want to check this box. So just click check that and click next. Like I said, I'm not going to install management point. I will do that later. Click next. And click next. Right here, it's going to check the Microsoft website to see if any update for configuration manager. So you want to make sure you can enable that. Click next. It's going to check to see if all my machine is, if my machines is um, compliance or all the components is installed. Next. So I have an issue here. I got my uh, SQL Service account is running. I'm going to have to change that. What I need to do is go into the computer manager. Services. Look for SQL. I'm going to use my SQL service, uh, SCCM service account. It's called SCCM. Oh, my bad. Location. Enter the password. Going to restart. Actually, I'm going to change the SQL agent as well. It's going to be SCCM service. Enter the password. Click OK. I'm going to restart the service. I'm going to rerun the check again. It's it has it gave me a warning on WSS. The reason is because I don't have WSS installed. Any warnings is fine. You can go back and um, you know fix it like SQLs memory configuration server memory sql server memory all that you can go back and can reconfigure that it doesn't need to it's not a showstopper so now i can begin the install the installation it can take about 60 minutes um you can view the log files here I'm going to use the 
tracer to view the log files. back close this up well it's on C if I go to the root of C so it's installing if I go back here, so like I say, it's going to take about an hour, maybe 40 minutes, it's depend on your machines. So I'm going to pause the recording and then come back when it's finished. All right, so it, it is still ongoing. We're 22 minutes away. I would say maybe another 20 minutes. I'm going to pause the recording again. All right, guys, look like the installation is completed. As you can see here, now I'm going to click close. I'm going to launch configuration manager console. There it is. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to close this. That's it, guys. That's how you install Configuration Manager current branch. So you can follow my next video. I'm going to do the, I'm going to install the management point, distribution point, reporting point, and some basic configuration. Thank you for watching and have a good day.